right now in Phoenix, Arizona, if you are considering replacing your air conditioning equipment, there are several rebates that are available through your local utility provider because both SRP and Arizona Public Service both have rebate programs as an incentive to help out with the cost of replacing your air conditioner equipment because there are several rebates on the table in the form of tax credits on appliances like heat pumps, air conditioners, furnaces, as well as water heaters. And just a reminder, before we talk about some of the tax credits available, remember, I'm just some dude on YouTube and this is not tax or financial advice, so you'll still have to run it by your CPA. However, we have researched these rebates and tax credits and we'll post links to these sites in the description so that you have the source for your reference. And as far as utility rebates, we'll be focusing mostly on SRP because SRP covers the majority of the Phoenix region as a utility provider. So first off on that note, let's go ahead and take a look at the rebates available Available through SRP. Now, one of the things I love about SRP rebates is that they actually pay a larger rebate for larger systems. And this is awesome because larger systems do use more power. So it's incentivizing people accordingly based on the impact that they are going to have on the grid and the size of their home is going to have on the grid. So for someone with a five ton inverter system, definitely going to benefit from this rebate. And I'll explain what those breakdowns are here in a second. Now, I'm also going to go through the different types of systems that are available as well. And I'm also going to talk about some of these systems in this video. But at the end of this video, I'll also make sure to link a few other videos to some of these different types of systems that explain how they work and what the benefits of each system are in the event that you're unfamiliar. But through SRP, there's essentially four tiers of rebates available and these are all paid out on a per ton basis, which again, I absolutely love because like I said, that means a five ton rebate is going to be five times as much money as you would receive on a one ton system. And that's just an awesome incentive. So the first tier of AC rebates is for single stage systems with single stage compressors. If you're not familiar with single stage technology, all it is, it's your basic system that you're probably used to. It's either on or it's off and there's no bells and whistles. It's very easy to fix. Most parts are in stock on our truck with the exception of like the actual compressor in terms of standard truck stock inventory. And as a result, this is normally what we put into things like rental properties. Because of that, they're very easy to fix and especially fix on the spot. So smaller homes that might not be concerned about efficiency oftentimes use a single stage system. Now, in order for a single stage system to qualify for the rebate, it has to be a 15 C or two rated system or higher. And as of January 1st, 2024, all systems will have to be C or two rated. So none of the old SEER systems will qualify. And if you're not familiar with those ratings, I do explain that in a separate video, which I'll make sure to link at the end of this video as well. But the bottom line is on the systems, you will get a heat pump or AC rebate of $75 per ton, which means if it's a heat pump or an AC, it can still qualify. One thing to keep in mind is that there does need to be an AHRI matchup between the air handler and furnace coil combo with the condenser in order for it to qualify. Now your dealer, someone like us, should take care of this. We're always working with the parts house when we're picking up the equipment to make sure we know whether or not there's going to be an AHRI matchup. And sometimes we need a specific size of furnace just to be able to get it through the attic access, for example. So we'll eat the cost on the rebate if there's not an actual matchup on a larger or smaller smaller size system, for example. But the bottom line is that just keep that in mind. Your contractor should be keeping that in mind when they are sizing the system and sizing it for the rebate. They're always going to be looking for an AHRI matchup. Now the next tier up is a multi-stage system. Again, it is required to be 15 C or 2 rated or higher. And this is going to be for multi-stage compressors like two-stage air conditioners, for example, would qualify for this rebate. And that's true for air conditioners or heat pumps as well. These both qualify for for a $150 per ton rebate, which is actually not bad. That's pretty substantial. You're talking about $750 on a five ton system, for example. And if you have multiple systems, the savings can really start to add up as a nice perk. Now, the highest tier that's going to be available is for variable capacity or inverter driven systems like the Daikin Fit, which again, I'll make sure to link those at the end. These are our favorite types of systems because to install them, the features, they're very quiet on startup. And when they are running, our customers absolutely love them for this reason. So that's that's why we love installing them. And SRP loves them because they're easy on the grid, which is why they give you $225 per ton as a rebate on both heat pumps and air conditioners. And the reason I say SRP loves these because they're easy on the grid is because when an inverter or variable speed system first kicks on, it is pulling five to 10% of the power compared to a traditional single stage system. So it is not a huge rush of current going to your house. It will ramp up and down. And that's why it's called variable capacity or variable speed and also any inverter driven mini split heat pump also qualifies for $225 per ton. And that's the fourth tier of rebates. Now, in order to get the rebate on their website,
website, there's a cool cash rebate checklist that will be linked and we'll put that link in the description. But basically you need an invoice that shows the system was paid in full with the contractor's invoice number, their license number, and you'll also need an AHRI reference number for the system installed, model serial number, and whether it's a single stage, multi-stage variable capacity system or an inverter driven mini split. So all in all, it's a pretty straightforward application process and it's pretty easy to take advantage of those SRP rebates. Now, if you're wondering which system you should opt for, like I said, we'll talk about that more in depth in several other videos. But one of the things I do want to point out is that if the system is going to go into a home that you plan on living in for a while, I would consider getting an inverter or variable speed system just because number one, the comfort factor in the fact that in addition to comfort, it will pay for itself over you know, a several year period. Typically it takes about seven to 10 years on those systems, but they're very quiet and that's why our customers love them. But if you're happy with your current single stage system and you don't care when it comes or, or you don't hear it when it first kicks on and it doesn't bother you that much, then you're probably fine sticking with that type of system. But typically we don't sell a lot of multi-stage systems either. We're either selling an inverter system or we're selling a single stage system. And that's because the price jump just to go to a multi-stage is not that far off from the price of an inverter system. And if you're enjoying this content so far, please Please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. It does take a lot of time and energy to put out content like this. So if you're finding it helpful, it's a free way that you can show support and it's much appreciated. Now, Arizona public service rebate is much more basic. If you have a new CR2 system that's over 14.3 CR2, then it qualifies for a $200 rebate. There's also an additional $1,000 rebate that certain customers might qualify for if they are on one of their specialty programs that seem to be related to low income or if you are on life-saving medical equipment, for example. So that rebate is not as attractive but if you do happen to live in one of the small areas that's covered by Arizona Public Service, then there is still a $200 rebate on the table for you. Now let's talk about some of the tax credits that are available right now because of the Inflation Reduction Act. You gotta love the title of these acts, right? Now let's talk about who qualifies. Unfortunately, though the Inflation Reduction Act, the Energy Efficiency Home Improvement Credits are specifically limited to people's primary residences. That's one downside. So if you are a landlord, unfortunately you can't claim the credit if you don't live in the home. Now, if it's a multifamily property like a duplex or fourplex, for example, you could probably get away with it and that's fine and claim that. But again, just check with your tax professional because it sounds like this is really only for people's primary residences that are claimed as their primary residence on their taxes, not investment properties. Which honestly, I think is unfortunate and kind of dumb because you're disincentivizing landlords from putting in higher efficiency equipment for their tenants, but that's just my two cents. Now, there's not really clear criteria on what qualifies, so you have to go to the CEE directory, which is the Consortium for Energy Efficiency, and I'll make sure to link that in the description for you as well. At a glance, it looks like the EER ratings that qualify on the heat pump have a rating of 12 or 12.5 minimum with SEER ratings upwards of 18 to 20. And on the furnace side of things, you're looking at mostly modulating equipment that's 97 or 98% efficient. So the bottom line is there's literally thousands of models listed on the directory and it's going to be mostly high efficiency stuff. Your contractor and the manufacturer that you're buying the equipment from should know whether or not the equipment that you're putting in will qualify for these uh, tax rebates or tax credits. But the bottom line is here is what is available. Now there's a $600 per item rebate for central air conditioners, natural gas, propane, or oil water heaters, as well as natural gas, propane, or oil furnaces, as well as hot water boilers. Now you can claim up to $1,200 per year in rebates for putting in new high efficiency equipment. And in addition to this, there is a tax credit available specifically for people that put in heat pumps that qualify. Now, in order for these heat pumps to qualify, they have to have a thermal efficiency rating of 75%, but you can get up to $2,000 per year. This includes electric or natural gas heat pumps or heat pump water heaters, as well as biomass stoves and boilers. I happen to know, for example, a Daikin Fit enhanced heat pump qualifies for this tax credit and we sell a lot of these because it's a great bang for your buck, high efficiency inverter system. The five ton Daikin Fit system I know does not qualify currently, but everything up to four tons does qualify. It's kind of ridiculous, but it just has to do with the nuances of EER ratings and the way the bill was written. So if you are in the Phoenix region and interested in getting a quote on system replacement, 
there's a lot of incentives and rebates available right now that you can take advantage of and we're happy to walk through those with you. Just click the link below to schedule an appointment if you're interested in learning more about some of the rebates available for upgrading your HVAC. And as promised earlier, there's a few links on the screen to other videos related to HVAC efficiency ratings, as well as a video about the Daikin Fit, which is one of our favorite inverters for a few reasons. So check those out if you haven't done so already, and we will catch you on the next episode.